Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of Padge Plays Retro Edition with the game Blue Max on the Commodore 64. This is one of those games which is uh, renowned for being a classic on the Commodore 64, but I never actually owned the full version of it. I think the closest I got to it was a demo version, which was included on the front of Commodore format. Don't hold me to this, but I think it was around edition five or something like that and oh it's, it's already kicked in there you go am i playing this no this is on demo version fantastic so this game was made by uh, a guy called uh, bob polin and i believe peter Ab adams uh, helped out for the c64 version and essentially you are in a world war i'd like to think of it as world war one um i'm pretty sure it's world war one and you are tasked with as you can see here there's no need for me to really play this is there we've got the demo version here so you don't have to see how inept i'm going to be at this but Essentially, you are on a consistently scrolling screen where, as you can see, it goes all blue. And that means you are on the right level to be able to bomb whatever needs to be bombed. Now, that can be a building, like you see just passing there. Uh, it can be a car going across the road. Uh, but essentially, you have tasks that you need to do. And once you have done them... Uh, interspersed in between these tasks as well i believe is you being able to land and refuel as you can see fuels go down bombs are limited so you've got to be really really careful and obviously with a lot of guns being shot at you it's it's difficult to know whether you're going to survive or not now it's a bit ambiguous there you are there's a, a landing there landing strip uh there's a bit ambiguous as to what side you play on are you are you on the allies are you on the, the germans no idea uh but uh well I suppose that means it's universal. There's there's no sort of conflict of interest here. You are who you want to be. See that blue one there? We're supposed to bomb that, but hey-ho. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's crack on and uh, see how we get on, shall we? Uh, I think I've got this in the wrong joy port. Let's try that again. Why can't I play? Why can't I play? We going? Here we go. Right, so let's get up to speed. Pull up! No, that's down. So up is down. I was I, kamikaze training. I know, I know. Uh, so I, I was using it like you would a, 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 a joystick in a real plane. I was pulling down to go up, but apparently I'm going to push up to go up. There we go. So can we shoot him? No, he's gone. All right. So here we are. We've made it. I mean, it's third time. Third time lucky. I think we can say third time lucky. So the one thing which is always um, a, a bit of an issue when it comes to games like this. I mean, we can shoot these if we want. We don't get any points for it. Um, is with the Commodore 64. Boom! With the Commodore 64, um, you only have the one fire button on the joystick. Uh, and this fire button has to do multiple things. Got you. Um, oh, I'm getting shot out here. Not good. Can we get the car? Oh, we shot that bad boy. You got it this time. Oh, this is for target. Oh, missed him. Here we come around again. Um, so when I'm shoot, well, I can not shoot normally. So just the shooty, shooty, shoot by pressing the button. But you've got to push down and shoot in order to drop a bomb. And as you can see, there is a, oh, landing's coming up. We'll get a bit of fuel. Uh, there is a bit of, uh, of a tra trajectory, trajectory, can I say that? There we go. There is a bit of a trajectory to um, take into account. So you do have to sort of uh, think ahead when it comes to actually uh, putting down the bombs. But from what I gather, although as I said, with a demo, you don't really get to pay too much attention to this. Um, you are on a consistent... Am I getting enough speed up here? No! Um, <laughs> um, you, um, you continue the loop until you've bombed all the appropriate targets, and then you can end the level and move on to the next one. Uh, I didn't go according to plan, but never mind. So I'm taking it's got to be over 100 for speed. Oh! Haha! -ha. So, as you can see, when you're on the right level to be able to... Um, oh, I can't get that. That's not fair. Uh, when you're on the right level, it lights up blue, which is great as far as that's concerned. Um, I do believe you get points anyway. Do I get points for that? Can't even tell these days. Uh, but yeah, this is it. This is the game. Now, back when I first had it, I used to play this all the time on the, on the demo. Um, it's something which... Um, it kind of is what it is. There's not a lot more to this other than what you're seeing now. Oh, no, far too late. Um, but it just had, it had this enamour about it. I mean, it looks relatively simple. Uh, I believe it came out the same year I was born, 1983. So we're, we're talking about one of the first Commodore 64 games released. 
Uh, I think the 64, yeah, it's, it's, it's 40 years your Commodore 64 this year. So um, that would mean that 1982 was when that came out. So it's, it's still in its infancy, you could say, as far as the, the actual Commodore 64 is concerned. So, yeah, it, I mean, co compared to games, you know, released eight, nine years later, it's, it's pretty simple, all in all. But th there is a certain charm to it, which I think is carried along, and I suppose that is why it's known as uh, a classic these days. Now, it was also released, uh, I believe, for the Atari uh, and uh, the Spectrum. Never played those personally. Uh, not sure if they're any good or not. Yeah, are we gonna, are we gonna shoot you? No, missed him. Oh, oh, missed them both. Fantastic. Come back, yeah, bastard. Um, but um, I, I would suspect the Atari might possibly look a little bit better. It's it's for the Atari eight bit so uh, family. So, see at least he's early now. No. Aha. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be. I'm out of fuel. <laughs> Runaway sweeper. I, 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 do I take that as a compliment? I think I can take that as a compliment. Um, but yeah, it would appear that you only get the one life because my score has reset. Although I'm not aware of come back. Uh, I'm not aware of any high score. Oh, we got some win now. It's pulling down on me then. Um, which I presume is what the W stands for. It means there's a slight wind. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I can argue that the Atari is probably a little bit better looking. I mean, if it's for the 8-bit family, we're talking what? Um, 7200, possibly? Was it? Could have been an arcade one? I don't think. Ah, oh, got him. But yeah, known as a classic. It's It's one which is very simple to play. Oh, he was coming at me a bit quick. Never quite sure on whether you know, it, it, it warrants um, maybe a follow-up. I suppose you could argue, this, um, being a biplane game, this, this led on to games like Red Baron, uh, which is a, a, a very well-known DOS game, which was more of a, I suppose you could call it a first-person perspective. One which I am planning on bringing to the channel. Uh, as far as Red Baron's concerned, I, I had exactly the same issues playing that game as I do this. Uh, taking off was very difficult. <laughs> but once I was in the air, I was absolutely fine. And landing as well was uh, quite difficult in that game. Well, you do tend to have a career mode in that game. So, uh, again, that could be something we could uh, look at at a future retro edition uh, of Padge Plays. Can we get him? Boom! Don't walk into that. Not good for you. Hey! Points, points, points. Uh, he's down. Down. Just taking it all out now at this point. I have no care. Disregard. Oh, we got hit. We got hit. I've got F. I don't know. Obviously means something's failed. Not sure what's failed. Can't be good, though. Oh, 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 oh. Can I get behind you? Aha. I oh, missed that one. Oh, got to get the van. Hey, bonus points. Down, down. We're all over this. We're all over this. Oh, we're going to have to land now. I mean, it, it. according to the description, you sort of repeat until you get all of the, um, the targets you have to get. But I haven't seen much repetition so far, unless it's just a very big screen that we're, we're going across currently i mean i presume after this landing because i missed the this last time around we're we going um i presume um we'll be having the landing strips come up next and then we're into unknown waters or air if you so choose to say boom but it's definitely a high score definitely a high score oh lordy Thought we were going to go into him then. So over the river. Can we get a boat? Oh, that was close. That was close. Let's try again. Hey! Didn't get a lot of points for that. Didn't think it was worth it in the end. 
I wonder if you can get these cannons actually. I'm I'm not actually haven't tried the cannons yet. Boom. I mean, we're just stopping the supply of things here. So that's the way I'm seeing it. Come to me. No, not interested. Just ducking and diving. Swooping and swirling. Um, we'll probably play it, play it safe here and get some fuel on this. I'm guessing he's an ally because he's white. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, here we go. Can we get you? Can we get you? No, we're just going to crash instead. <sighs> So there you go. That is Blue Max. I, I, I could play it for another 10, 15 minutes and make a full 25 minute episode. I think my point has been raised. It is uh, a classic of the C64. I did say in my last Dizzy episode for Retro Edition that I would be showing you more C64 games, which I have a, a, a fond memory of, be it a full game or demo or whatever. But um, this is probably one of the oldest games that I have played uh, which was released for the C64. So I figured this would be a good one to start with. Oh, and I'm also recording on my lunchtime, so I'm restricted on time. So there you go. But anyway, I digress. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is always appreciated, and I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy.